Python can be great for developing video games since Python syntax is beginner friendly while also allowing for complex logic to be expressed in a small amount of code. This can result in very speedy development in experienced hands. However, Python's well-known downside is its performance. I've always said that Python can be used for nearly any 2D game without much worry as long as you know how to organize data. That said, there are some edge cases, and since I'm someone who designs a game first and worries about implementation later, I appear to have had a run-in with Python's performance limitations in my upcoming Steam game. If you haven't seen my game Yannok before, it's a top-down shooter that originated in a Blackthorn prod competition where you fight cellular automata instead of typical enemies, which listed on Steam. Cellular automata are algorithms that can create lifelike behavior using simple rule sets to determine the state of a cell based on its neighbors. Yannok started with Conway's Game of Life, which is an extremely simple and popular algorithm that can create some interesting enemy patterns. It performs just fine in Python since each cell just looks at its immediate neighbors. However, some of the more interesting cellular automata need to make decisions based on hundreds of neighbors. Running that in a world with over 10,000 cells, where each cell needs to look at hundreds of other cells without causing a stutter in your game's frame rate, is one of those cases where Python's limitations can start popping out. To set the bar, I plan on using Smooth Life as one of the enemy automata in Yannok. Now as a seasoned Python game developer, I know I have a few options available to me. First, I could attempt to optimize my code in vanilla Python by either writing some big brain code or by using existing modules that are written in C under the hood for improved performance. In this case, there may be a route with SciPy using convolutions to gather neighboring cell information. However, this kind of solution could end up taking a decent amount of effort while still only being applicable to one cellular automata algorithm. Option number two is to either write some C to use with Python or use compiled Python code for increased performance, which could be done with things like PyPy or Numba. Now option number three is to solve the problem by running the algorithm on the GPU. Of course, Python doesn't run on the GPU natively. But there are some tools like Numbla that can allow you to write Python functions that will run in parallel on the GPU. These are all potential options to consider if you run into performance limitations yourself, but I only need one solution for Yannok. Cellular automata is typically a highly parallelizable problem, since usually each cell will derive its next state based purely on the old state of the world rather than being intricately connected to neighboring cells, each cell can be computed separately based on a single world texture input in 2D automata. This applies to Conway's Game of Life, Smooth Life, and even Lenia. Well wait a minute. We take in a texture and change the state of each pixel based on a single input texture and some constants. That's a shader. The nice thing about solving this problem with a shader in OpenGL, which you can use with Python, is that it is broadly supported on almost any hardware. Interestingly enough, nearly all of the niche cases where interpreted Python is too slow in 2D game dev can be resolved with shaders. Want to paint the world with watercolor effects? Shaders. Want to simulate water surfaces? Shaders. Want to have physically raycasted lighting? Also shaders. I already use shaders all the time in my games nowadays. I have a video on that if you want to learn. So all I really have to do is yoink the Smooth Life algorithm, drop it in a GLSL fragment shader, and poof. I have Smooth Life running in Python. I've also gone ahead and ported the old Conway's Game of Life algorithm from Python into a shader. Each area in Yannock will run a different automata algorithm, and Conway's Game of Life is the algorithm for the first area. There is still one more step in making the Smooth Life automata compatible for Yannock for future areas. Downscaling. If you want to see how that works, you'll have to wait for the next Yannock devlog. In the meantime, I've made significant strides towards turning Yannok into a proper game. I've added terrain shadows, proper level editing, for me at least, water, a proper shopping area to expand the world with Gary the Armadillo Blacksmith, centipede pathfinding and physics, secondary weapons, a gun shop, and a new gun that can create walls for defensive purposes. I had a mess of questionable code that was originally written as quick as possible for the Blackthorn prod competition that needed to be cleaned up to extend the game. With that cleaned up, I am now ready to make even bigger additions as the newly announced release month approaches. November 2024. If Yannok seems interesting, I would greatly appreciate wishlists on Steam. 
The upcoming tasks focus primarily on new content rather than mechanics, such as areas, automata, upgrades, etc., and typical quality of life game features such as menus, settings, and the like. This will be my first Steam game in five years, so I'm getting pretty excited. There will probably be a demo and a teaser trailer in a couple of months. Thanks for watching.